Hi, and welcome to another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist. I am your host, Dennis Richkovsky. Some of you recognize me as the co-owner of Flip Flops Donuts, and some of you will know me as your broker of real estate who specializes in waterfront and waterview properties along the Crystal Coast, especially on Bogue Banks and in my town of Emerald Isle, North Carolina. On this channel, you will find the essential information from inside scoops on buying and selling houses to how to live with the ocean rivers and sounds that define the Crystal Coast. Today's episode is all about the Croatan National Forest. Whether you visit here occasionally or live here full time, getting to know about the Croatan National Forest, how it is unique, and what it means to vacationers and residents alike along the Crystal Coast is a story worth telling. Before I begin, please subscribe to my video channel now or at the end of this episode. The Crystal Coast is a go-to place if your idea of a vacation involves a beach. The Crystal Coast should be your place to go if you like hiking and camping too. Why? Because in our midst, we have the Croatan National Forest. While it is but one of four national forests in North Carolina, it is the only coastal forest along the entire East Coast. The Croatan National Forest comprises 250 square miles of pine forests, saltwater estuaries, bogs, and raised swamps or pocassins in Carteret, Craven, and Jones counties. As such, the forest is suitable for hiking, camping, hunting, trail biking, and all-terrain vehicles. The many, many rivers, inland lakes, and creeks allow for swimming, fishing, boating, and canoeing. The forest was named Croatan after the small Native American group living in the coastal areas of what is now North Carolina at the time of the first English settlers. The land comprising this unique coastal forest was acquired by the U.S. government almost 100 years ago in the mid-1930s. Croatan National Forest is defined by water as it is bordered on three sides by Boak Sound and two tidal rivers, the Noose and the White Oak. All this water makes for an ideal habitat for numerous wildlife. For starters, the tannin-stained waters throughout this coastal forest provide habitat to several unique species of fish who thrive in the forest's unique riverine conditions the gorgeous blue-spotted sunfish, the mud and the banded sunfish, the eastern mud minnow, the flyer, the warmouth, the unusual redfin pickerel, the air and water-breathing bowfin, and the yellow bullhead are some of the most commonly encountered fish. The elusive swampfish, a species of cave fish, can also be found in several creeks and canals throughout the forest. Some of the other wildlife that call this forest home include black bear, raccoon, squirrel, bobcat, river otter, muskrat, mink, a wide variety of reptiles and amphibians, as well as osprey, peregrine falcon, cockadid, woodpecker, various species of birds including owl, quail, bald eagle, wild turkey, and of course alligator. Yes, alligator. The forest is abundant with pine trees, including stands of virgin long leaf pine. There are many hardwoods, including the cypress trees of the swamps. Carnivorous plants such as Venus flytraps, the sundew, and the pitcher plants may also be found. There are a few sandy areas within the forest that provide pristine habitat for the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. What's a forest without hiking trails? The Croatan National Forest does not disappoint. And here are a few favorites. The first is the Nusiak Trail, the northern half to be specific. This moderately challenging 22 mile out and back trail starts near the Cherry Point Air Base. It takes an average of nine and a half hours to complete. The trail is well marked, is easy to traverse, and the flora is varied and quite pretty. The trail is quite comfortable, littered with soft pine needles. 
about the only thing that can and sometimes does disrupt this beautiful, peaceful hike in a pine forest is the sound of freedom. The overhead roar of fighter jets originating from the nearby Cherry Point Marine Air Base. The second trail is an almost three mile long loop called the Island Creek Forest Walk near Pollocksville. Generally considered an easy route, it is roughly an hour and change to complete. This popular trail features a forest of hardwoods and lots of views along the White Oak River to enjoy wildlife. The best times to visit this trail are March through October. A third trail, and my wife's favorite, is the Cedar Point Tideland Trail, a 1.4 mile loop trail near Swansboro, which traverses through a salt marsh and along the White Oak River. Generally considered an easy route, it takes about 35 minutes to complete. The trail has beautiful, easy to walk, nice boardwalks, birdhouses, and benches throughout. And it has an amazing sunset vantage point too. Standing in stark contrast is the Weetok Trail starting at Long Point Landing Road off Highway 58. The northern third of this trail is easy to follow, very pretty, and takes you to a nice boat ramp with clean restrooms. If you choose to continue the trail south, make sure you have plenty of water, rugged pants, and a fighting spirit. To quote one intrepid hiker, this portion of the trail is a lot of fun, but it quickly separates the seasoned hiker from the weekend warrior. You will need to bushwhack in many areas. There is a lot of water, so be prepared to get amphibious. This is the most challenging trail that I have seen in eastern North Carolina. If you are mentally tough, have a strong back, and refuse to quit when things get hard, then this is the trail for you. If not, stay home so the authorities don't have to come look for your body. Unquote. Finally, there is the 8-mile Black Swamp OHV Trail, which is a great place to go and ride your four-wheeler dirt bike or bicycle. The National Forest is not complete without camping, and the Croatan does not disappoint in this category either. It has, it has three designated campgrounds, the Cedar Point, the Noose River, and Flanners Beach, and the Oyster Point Campground. All have modest fees, reservations, and have various hookups available. Interesting in roughing it? Dispersed camping is allowed in undeveloped non-fee areas throughout the Croatan National Forest, unless you see a no camping sign. If you didn't already know, dispersed camping means no services, and that means no trash removal, no toilets, no tables, and no fire pits. For detailed camping information, visit the Croatan National Forest website or call the ranger station. And to learn more about recreational opportunities along the Crystal Coast, subscribe to my newsletter by texting your email address to 919-308-2292 or sign up for my blog on my website, www.eihomesforsale.com. And please subscribe to Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist on YouTube at the end of this video. Stay well and stay safe, my friends. So come on down. Please subscribe to my channel below and definitely return next week to the same bat channel at the same bat time of 9 a.m. on Thursday for another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist.